Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Oshola R88, which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, as you can see, this is a motherfucking Formula 1 car and it looks awesome. Um, the first of its kind in GTA and it just looks immense. Not really sure how Franklin's fitting into that. It's got to be pretty tight on the old leg there but it looks sweet man so hopefully we can do some sort of customization to it i'm not expecting a lot because of the type of vehicle that it is but hopefully we can put our own stamp on it and make them look unique um to one another so if any further ado let's get on with it with 100 percent body armor as always to start then we've got the body work so we can choose from vents uh, so that's pretty cool that you get the hang on mark two mark two Right, Mark II body, I don't understand that. What's that What's that changing? Is that, oh I see, so that removes the vent on that side and then the vented Mark II. So you just get the, the thin vents on the one side and then the double intake. So that's pretty cool. It's nice that you do get an option, but I do like them big vents on the side. And I think I'm gonna go with the double intake stock body. Next we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to get the super brakes, holy crap, that's a new uh, option, super brakes, front bumper, we've got the wing remove or the no wing, uh, the low front wing, low front wing 2, medium, medium circuit, championship wing, championship wing 2, that's pretty cool that you can get the championship wing and obviously we are going to get that one but we're going to get the championship wing 2. Then we're going to move on to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. The liveries. This is graph to have a livery, man. Just because of the type of car that it is, it has to have a livery. Me personally, I don't really like liveries on ordinary cars. But these types of vehicles, I think you, you really do need to have a livery on it. So hopefully we've got a nice one in here that we can whack on this motor. And all of them so far are not really that impressive. The Air Emu is pretty good. Emu? Emu. <laughs> the Redwood Racing actually looks pretty good with the black body colour as well. I actually really like that one. That's probably my favourite, so I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to grab that bad boy. For the respray, like I said, the livery goes really well with the black body colour, so I ain't going to be changing that. And then we get a roof option, which is weird. So, oh, so that's not actually even a roof. It's. <laughs> It just extends this roll bar at the top. So why don't they just change the category from roof and call it roll bar? That would have made a little bit more sense. But no. That's Rockstar, isn't it? They have to call it a roof. When it's not a roof, God damn it. So we're going to go with the primary hoop. Then we've got the spoiler option. Loads of options for the spoiler. So we've got the oval. And then we've got the rectangular, the cutoff, the wedge. The small, the large, the medium, the medium cut. <laughs> large rectangular so there's loads to choose from man these ones are a little bit strange um, that one looks a little bit better but where it's cut off I think these just look a little bit out of place but where that cuts off the medium cut off wing actually looks really good because then it kind of molds its way around that back wheel a little bit nicer and then the angular one probably looks a little bit a little bit better actually there's just some really nice options for wings I think all of them look pretty good. Uh, these top few aren't as good as the ones at the bottom. Um, my favourite was probably this uh, Med Angular wing, so I'm going to go with that bad boy. Transmission, we're going to get the super transmission. We're going to grab the turbo tuning, then the wheels. This is going to be a bit strange. Do you reckon we could change the wheel type? Oh crap, man. So we've got to unlock them. How the fuck do we unlock them? So we do get an, uh, a new option of wheels, which is sweet, man. But I haven't unlocked them. And I'm not sure how to unlock them either. But we can have a little look at them, see what we've got. And to be honest, the stock ones are pretty much the same as all these. Uh, and you get the um, tire print on them as well. So stock wheels we're going to keep because we have to, because all the others are locked anyway. But to be honest, I think I would have kept them anyways. So we do get an option for wheel colour, I wonder if we can change it, no we can't. Uh, tire design, yeah I was going to say we can't change that either because they're stock wheels. And we don't get any window tints so that leaves us to leave LS Customs, see this bad boy in the sunlight and that just looks awesome man, so good. 
So this car is going to cost a pretty penny at 3.1 million dollars so it's not going to be cheap by any means but then again it's not the most expensive car in the game either um, so let's just have a little drive and see what we think and just from the offset that sound is awesome the sound of an F1 vehicle in GTA is just music to my ears eats up them corners like nothing you see the suspension work in there as well it looks just looks so good my hand even goes over the little grass verge without any problems so this is very quick obviously and this is in a new category called open wheel category so you can't compete against obviously supercars or sports cars using this um, turning circle seems a little bit wide but it definitely sticks out in the corners really really well so I'm really impressed with the way this is performing to be honest but then again would you expect anything less it sticks in them corners the braking is really good the acceleration is really good so it's kind of really what you should expect from a vehicle of this sort of caliber you expect it to be fast you expect it to perform basically um, obviously customizations aren't the best but then again like I said before at the beginning of the video I wasn't really expecting them to be anything special because it's an F1 vehicle it's a limited amount of customization you can realistically do to them um, but from what you can do it's good enough for me you can kind of change it up enough to make it feel unique to me so I highly suggest the purchase of this vehicle if you've got the money like I said it's 3.1 million dollars so it is very expensive but it's just one of a kind man it's awesome it's so freaking cool and I love it I'll definitely be purchasing this online when uh, it is released but that is going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios